Yo, what's up you guys? Peek out here, Singapore, you know, chilling. This is day three of the Sorry Challenge, so that's why you see me in Sorry again. But today I have a really good friend of mine I want to introduce. So my friend Hassan is graciously agreed to come join me on this live so we can talk about his whole idea behind his businesses because he has more than one and his passion for music and videography and all that stuff so I'm really actually very very excited so um, I actually met him back in 2014 I physically met him in uh, 2014 and it was really exciting to I only knew of him right I knew of him as this video director for Arjun and his music videos but he's so much more than that hey what's up how are you hey. good to have you out here so you're actually live with us from Sri Lanka, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Awesome. I'm so excited to have you on here. So we're going to take it back, like, to the beginning, because I don't even know, like, all of those, all of the, you know, the beginning of the story, pretty much. So I met you, like I told everybody, I met you in 2014. I actually had a chance to fly out to London on some business, and we happened to meet up. It was kind of cool. Like, it was kind of surreal, actually, because I'd only ever seen you on music videos um, on YouTube until then. So you were, like untouchable right and then you happen to be this actual human guy who's really really sweet uh and very charming so it was it was really cool to meet you in person but since then we've actually kept up it's not one of those once in a lifetime we meet you and then you go our separate ways we've kept in touch for what a good five years now can you believe it it's been five years yeah Yeah. (laughs) so tell me a little bit more about yourself you were born in sri lanka yeah, I was born in Sri Lanka and I've studied in uh, Sri Lanka as well. Uh, okay. My, and uh, I moved uh, to my high studies to London. And, okay. Uh, what did you uh, study, if you don't mind me asking? Industry when I was in uh, Sri Lanka. What, what, is, what was it? Sorry? What did you study when you went to London? Um, I, I studied first uh, business and then okay. uh, I was in film studies, you know. So, so I know the business. Good. <laughs> no, but that's awesome because so many people like, you know, they they go one way like their parents want them to study something that will really really make them money and then they yeah. find that they hate it so much and then they find their passion. So this is really cool because you saw one aspect of the business and then you pursued the other aspect as well. So film studies was next for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. very cool. Now, I mean um I mean my family are doctors actually, so I uh, thought of like try uh, I wanted to be some someone else, you know what I mean, not being a doctor because it's I don't know for me it's kind of boring uh, yeah <laughs> you know what I mean it's it's my personal. it's very technical there's so many details I'm not a detail kind of person sorry yeah. <laughs> I'm big picture kind uh, of person yeah um, I'm, uh, I, I wanted to be a direct uh, sorry I'm um, a doctor as well when I was a kid but okay then I you know um, you know it's, it's it's all about books and stuff i want to make i want to create like videos and stuff you know it's something i wanted to do you know like when i was watching uh, movies and stuff like when i was a kid you know I was, yeah you know, i knew that i want to be some someone else you know <laughs> so you're very creative so from from your childhood itself was that something you you remember like just always being creative or uh yeah i mean i i was very creative uh <laughs> I mean, I mean, I didn't, I really didn't have a, like, a camera or anything, like, when I was a kid. Sure. Was, uh, like, I mean, my family are doctors, and then they really didn't want me to have a camera in my hand when I was a kid, you know, to just to film and just be a director, because uh, when I was a kid, I was always telling my mom, you know, I want to be a director, and, uh, and she's like, not really, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> and... Uh, but yeah, I mean, I mean, I when I when I look uh, when I watched the uh, Titanic and and uh, like all these Jurassic Park and um, sure, those uh, big movies from the nineties. And uh, when I watched them, and I thought like, oh, I want to make make something like you know big like this, you know, like you know, I lo- I love stories, I love these uh you know like creature films and stuff, you know, it's yeah. really great. And so, yeah, I used to make, like, small, small figures, and I tried to see, like, from uh, one of these, uh, you know, glasses. That's so cool, with, yeah. Like, I used to look at them, you know, and see, like, uh, you know, like, record the stuff in my mind, you know, as a film. So, <laughs> but that's awesome. So, looking back now, you realize all the little details that kind of led you to where you are, right? So, that's really cool that this is the way you saw the world anyway. Yeah, yeah. And now you get to show us how you see the world because you're behind the camera telling us what to, what to watch, what to make note of. That's awesome. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, right now I'm really happy because I, I'm doing what I'm what I love to do, honestly. So, um, so I think it's 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 great when you do what you love to do and you can make also money and also uh, obviously, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so I'm not I'm not all about yeah. that money, you know. It's all about like, I mean, to create. Uh, I'm, I wanted to create something like different, you know, for myself. Yes. You know? Absolutely. So last we left off, you were studying film studies in London. So how did that work out? So when you moved to London, did you did your family come with you, or were you by yourself? Like how did how did that happen? No, not not really. My uncles, my family are there in London as well. Like, okay. And um, yeah, I mean, I was I went alone, and because uh, I wanted to actually, you know, I was raised as a baby, you know. <laughs> You're the youngest. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say. Okay. This. And um, so I just thought, like you know, I want to do like stand from my own feet, you know, one yeah. day. Sort of like you know, I'm gonna do this alone, you know, like with no one's help. So that, yeah, I I mean, my parents helped me as well quite a lot. But yeah, right. Wanted- But you wanted to make a name for yourself, so that actually that's beautiful because I think more more and more people are slowly kind of coming out and like, okay. My parents, my family is known for this, but I'm not quite interested in that area. This is what I kind of want to do for myself. So we're seeing a lot of people、um, that are branching out into comedy, branching out into photography, modeling, makeup, art, like lots of people coming out, right? So actually,、yeah. I feel good about that though because you're like pioneering it now. You know, you you started way back when.、Um, so <laughs> London, you had family out there. You moved out. You were studying and everything. What was the first piece of art that you created that you put out to the world for them to kind of you know? Look at、um, that was、um, my own creation was like in back in two thousand I think it was I filmed it on two thousand nine and okay two thousand ten I guess so、okay. music video actually、um, it's called、um, Ready to Wine、uh, okay that that video actually went on、um, uh, channel AKA、uh, top ten so wow first- okay. So was that yeah, wait? Was that planned, or was that something that you know you? Because obviously you did it in two thousand nine. You waited for a little bit, and then you released it. Did you have like a strategy behind that, or like what happened? How did that work? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think I was luck.、Uh, I had a bit of luck, you know, for that. I guess you know, in my life, I had a bit of luck, and also my creative as well. Like, I mean, that time,、uh, lots of people not making music videos in London as well. So yeah, yeah, okay. Of that, and you know, and I I bought a camera as well, so thought of like you know、uh, wanted to hire some good DOPs, but but from the first、uh, music video, I've hired like professional people, you know. That's that's very cool. That's my thing because I wanted to work with like the best of the best, you know what I mean?、Okay. And you are working with the best of the best. Look、oh. at you. So you set the standard high from the beginning. That's awesome, though. <laughs>、um, so I gotta ask: the first music video was that also on YouTube then? Uh, it, it is ready to wine, and actually the song was produced by a J.、Uh, sorry, Sean Paul's uh, producer. Uh, awesome. He, okay. And and I got to work with a Grammy、uh, Grammy Award winning、uh, producer on my first music. No、video. joke for the first one. Yeah. Okay. By the way, like and、um, but yeah, that was that was amazing.、Um, so the feedback was amazing when I first released it, and、uh, this artist found me on Gumtree actually. <laughs> uh-huh, okay. All right. So Gumtree is still around, you guys. Don't don't knock Gumtree. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like a place that you sell things and you yeah. You give- like Craigslist in the U.S. Exactly. Yeah. Okay.、And, you know, I posted uh, this. Uh, I'm doing a music video because because I really wanted to like find clients and and、uh, when I was in the uni, I was doing、uh, first business, right? So okay. So. Didn't have any,、um, you know, like clients that into music and stuff. So I don't,、okay. I don't know, you know. And so I thought, like, you know, I wanted to like find some people, but where the best place? So I saw、so、on Gumtree they post、uh, about shops and stuff. I mean, they do videos and and I'm just not not music videos, like videos and stuff. Yeah. And so I was the one to actually put put the first,、uh, you know, ad advert、uh, about music videos actually. Once. Okay. I had a very niche mark, you know. Like I, I posted it, and so many people started replying me. And then, so they did. Okay, good. Because most people are like, ah,、oh, should I even do this? And then they're like, crickets. No one's answering. But that's good. So people were answering. So obviously, 
you tapped into a place where not many people were doing the work anyway, but people were looking for the work. You just didn't. It. Perfect. This is awesome. So yeah. Grammy award winning producer, first video on a network channel. Generally. Amazing good news. So, th- I mean, there's nothing better than good news like that to reinforce, hey, you're doing the right thing. You're in the right space. Like, keep going. Keep doing. So what was next for you? Because I also know you're not just a producer. You can rap. You know, yeah. you've, you've had, yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm a rapper. I'm not, I ain't a rapper. No, I'm not, I'm a singer. I'm Whatever. Not. I saw the video. It wasn't that bad. I don't, I don't understand singing least, but it was good. <laughs> also, I want to say, add something to, uh, to the, to that one. Like the second music video, actually, I did also like, uh, Mutia Buena from Sugar Babes. I don't know whether you've okay. heard of No, I haven't. Uh, she she was in a girl band like uh, Sugar Sugar Babes in London and uh, yeah it's probably a London thing it's all good though worked with her and the second music video I actually played on MTV Base so okay so I was like wow when this came you know like so I started from mainstream and yeah then like you know I, I always had a passion for music you know like so I thought of like you know I I, I want to be a singer as well so yeah. Uh, being a, di- a music video director, I, I get to meet like so many artists and managers and record labels and stuff like that. So I can learn so much from them, you know what I mean? Yeah. Before the real deal with, with music and stuff, you know? So mm-hmm. um, I, 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 think, um, I mean, I, I started like, you know, um, do, um, you know, doing these things, you know, like, uh, um, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> but the point is, okay, so this is what I'm seeing, right? So you followed the photography, videography part of it, right? And you did the work as in producing the midi- music video itself. Not the music, but the, the video itself. And then it's kind of like you created your own platform so that if you wanted to sing, if you wanted to rap, you, you had everything in place. Hey, <laughs> you built it for yourself. Yeah, I have all the links in the world, actually, right? Now. Yeah. So all the record labels I know, producers, music producers I know, even music direct the video directors I know. So if, if, if I can't direct my own videos, I, I know how to give, you know. <laughs> Look, for you to be based in Sri Lanka at the moment, you know, you weren't always there. You came back home for a little bit. But I see yeah. you, you know, getting on calls and directing in London, even though you're physically, it's like, look, you got the best setup ever because you built it for yourself, right? So you built it so you don't have to be in one location. You can be anywhere in the world yeah. and still doing the stuff. As long as you got Wi-Fi, you're good to go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, this is uh, this is something crazy, actually. Um, directing on Skype, let's say. Yeah. <laughs> People never heard about this because um, I was the second person to uh, direct a music video in the world, actually, on Skype. And and um, y'all hear this, right? Y'all hear this. So all you <laughs> got to do is start following your passion. Everything else will open up. So you just got to do the work. So that's amazing, yeah. though. Like, how many yeah. other people can be like, you know, yeah, oh, yeah, you need me to direct a video, let me get on Skype real quick and tell you what to do, where to go. But that also means that your team respects the hell out of you because you can tell yeah. them what to do and they will deliver. Exactly. I mean, I have to do a, uh, quite a lot of uh, pre-production work because um, yeah. to uh, arrange, you know. And uh, one of the good things is in London, I know all the locations, like, perfectly. Yeah, right. You know, being there, and so I can, you know, even to my uh, crew in London, I can tell them, I can talk to them and tell them, you know, uh, just go and uh, go to this place and get the, get, get the um, permission from this guy and blah, 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 and set up the art directors, the whole crew I know, so I can, you know, change in between, you know what I mean, the crew as well, you know. And get but that's there. something I really love about you because you're very human, you're very approachable, you believe in making relationships work you're in you know cultivating friendships and stuff so for you to be able to do that from another place and if someone just mentions hey hasin sent me you know then it's it's good to go it's like currency you can trade on that right so okay you studied you did your first music video the second one was on mtv how did you start getting to actually work with these big um well actually you worked with Arjun before he was big so the fact that you got to work with these artists is it something that you see in them that says oh yeah you know i want to work with him he could be great or how does that how does that work how does that start it goes a long way like you know um the first time i've met Arjun uh, was was at Charles Bosco Studios. I don't I don't know. I know. I'm I'm sure that you know Charles. I've Bosco. heard of him. I don't know he, him, but I've heard of him. Yep. <laughs> people called him back in the day like he was a ta- Tamil Timberland because he okay. makes like, crazy beats. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, 
with I, I we still in, keep in touch with him I say um I still do and um he's such an amazing uh, person and, and he invited me to his uh studio one day uh, to um like to write, uh, some uh, songs for Duncan Premier League I Okay guess, uh, yeah so uh, so he wants he wants me to uh, feature on them as well actually Okay this is where I met Arjun for the first time You know, so was he also a part of this collaboration? Is that how that happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He okay. actually did five songs with me, and I'm, I'm featuring him as well. So yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Like so many good people was there on uh, Benny Dab was on a, on one of the tracks. But oh my gosh, really? Yeah, unfortunately. Way yeah. back in the day. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lucky with big people. I I I never knew this. Like it was amazing. Like so. Um, So uh like but it didn't make out like I mean it didn't go up uh, probably because um some other artists came and took the job from us uh something happened like that but I will, I will, it's all good yeah, yeah it, that happens but anyways like I got to know these amazing people through that you know Exactly that, that's what I believe you know it's it's luck you know what I mean and um so after that like I met Arjun and he was asking like what do you guys what what do you do and I said like I'm direct yeah that's that's my focus and about um so you know I want to be yeah. bigger at the time he has done uh, one video called I think remember tonight and okay and he said like bro you know let me know what you think about this video and I said that it's, it's quite cool you know like um that's good and but he was he was actually hitting for the the mainstream market first okay so he wasn't with the i mean he was he was doing some asian tracks like small ones but not 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 for the right like audience you know so yeah okay so uh, after i met him and he said like let's do some stuff together you know i might come up with something and then one day he called me up and said um hey dude like there's a there's a track um Uh, I want to want to do the video. So at the same time I at, at, at that time I think I bought the camera as well. So uh, okay. I you I think a week before. And I didn't know how to like you know operate the camera at the time because <laughs> it's, it's brand new, right? You haven't had a chance to play with it. Yeah, you know. Okay. Exactly. So um what happened was um I I actually uh took the camera for the first time to his house and straight away we did the Call of Duty video. And that was actually testing for out. <laughs> but it was awesome. It I liked the fact that it felt very live. It felt very just off the cuff. You it wasn't planned. It was very natural. I loved it. And that's the video actually that I think I I commented on you commented back. And it's so strange because I didn't know who the hell Arjun was. I had no idea. Um it wasn't until my sister-in-law was like, "Oh my gosh, he's so cute and he's coming to Singapore or whatever." And I was like, "Oh, really? Okay, let me go look him up and see who he is." But I was immediately taken by your presence on screen. You were very it was fun to watch you dance. It was yeah. fun to watch you behind the camera and it was a lot of mirrors and stuff, but it was like yeah. it was different. You weren't trying to be the center of attention, but you kind of stole the show in the shots that you were there because you were you were having so much fun. So yeah. I I reached I I don't know. I was like I wanted you to know that you made a difference on the screen basically. And as luck would have it you wrote back and we've been friends ever since so it was like the coolest thing ever but i love that about you you were you were very natural you were very their presence was very natural on screen so yeah so that was the yeah. first time the first yeah. video right yeah, impromptu I'll, or whatever yeah i want to do my cameo you know like on all my <laughs> so that was no you know i wanted to be a, like an actor as well like uh... you're not done yet we we'll get to that part of the story too <laughs> yeah. like because because uh, um yeah, i think a good di- director can also act you know what i mean yeah. like uh i i believe and honestly that. a lot of tamil movies are doing that the actor yeah. the director has like a cameo spot in the movie somewhere it's it's really yeah. cool to see though it's nice this is what i do as well um, <laughs> see you know you know i have i have no big hopes on like you know getting a, like a acting role in a massive hollywood movie or something like that right now like i'm focusing on my directing thing because yeah as i know like i can't focus on like 100 million things honestly <laughs> so and I not do I'm any one of them well i totally get it but it's nice yeah. to see you jump in and do like a cameo as the director because i think 
I think we need to see you guys too. It's great that you're behind the camera, but we'd love to see you guys on screen. You know, ever comes out on the on the behind the scenes. You know, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that's good. Yeah, I have a fan base for that as well. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. So okay, so Arjun, the first impromptu video, whatever, and then from there, it kind of, I'm guessing that your chemistry was so great off screen that y'all just decided to keep on working together. So. From there, we've had I don't know how many videos, and every time you post this, I'm like, my I see stars, the millions and billions of views of all these things that you've done, like freaking amazing. We are so in awe of the things that you've done. But the point is, you kept working, you kept putting out stuff. You didn't hit one, you know, and be like, oh yeah, I did it, and that was it. Nah, you kept on going. So that was that's that's what I want people to understand from you. You keep on going. You don't stop. Actually, I I've I've worked with so many different cultures.、Uh... Countries, people, and it's amazing. Like I've worked with like some rappers from,、uh, I mean, Portugal, and、uh, rappers from other French rappers, and you know, like it's crazy. Like you know, the people you've worked with actresses. No French, but I. <laughs> you no, know, I just talk to my friends and ask like, what do you think about this track, bro? Like, what what it says, you know? Because I don't know. Yeah. Lyrics. And but but I think that the language is not a barrier when it comes to music and stuff. Nah, I, yeah. All you need is a good beat. <laughs> good beat and a good sound, you know. Like, and I can make something amazing for that. So this is me. And、uh, honestly, you have a, a. It's like you have the job of translator as a director. So whatever the lyrics are, as long as the the, the artist can tell you what they want, what the、yeah. song means, you get the chance to translate. Even if I don't understand, you know, whatever the language is that the song is in. Through the story that you're translating in the video itself, I get to understand. I still get to be a part of it. So that's that's an amazing job to have. Exactly. Like I mean, that's what I think. That's what most of the direct directors have to do. Like it has to do. You know. Yeah. I mean? Like even like in a different language, you don't have to like <clears throat> you know, make it like crazy. Like and then I mean, I mean, people want to see the video and understand what's going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, We want the story. Yep. It related as well. Somewhat, you know what I mean. Like, in, it re- it really depends, like, on story-based videos and also the the you know the like performance video, you know. Exactly. Types of mu- music videos. So, so right. So I used to do a quite a quite a lot of、um, story-based videos, and、mm-hmm. uh, then I then I then people ask more for、uh, you know performance videos because most of the artists are not actors really. Yeah. Uh, it's it's gonna take long time to direct them as well, like if it, to help if it, them get comfortable and all that. Yeah, I can imagine. All, all these like, you know what I mean? Like, you know,、uh, the places to learn about acting as well. But the problem was like, no one wants to go to go to acting class, you know, to be、yeah. just like good. They just want the video out. Video. <laughs> I, I was having a bit of、uh, problems with like I mean I mean I mean Arjun is a great、um, actor as well, and、uh, we、yeah. started so I was just like building him up and you know like building his、um, you know like image and stuff you know brand and、yeah. so、did for him you know mainly but <clears throat> I mean he he was a he was an okay actor from the beginning right now like he's killing it out there <laughs> so yeah he never <laughs> seemed I've never seen a, a place where he actually seems like he was shy so yeah. You, yeah. That was an easy one, I think. <laughs> actually, the first music video I've done with him. Sorry, it's not actually、uh, the Color ID. It's actually the Stargazer. So the Star- I remember Stargazer. Okay. The Stargazer. I I I did the I did few parts because、uh, they had another director.、Uh, she didn't make it uh, uh, on the second day or something like that. So I went. Oh no. Ah,、uh, uh, this is where I started with him. But but okay but okay. I, My own creation is is the first creation is is probably uh, the uh, the color variety, yeah. Okay, yeah. Was- But Star gave it. That was a good video too. Like I didn't I didn't realize. So how much of that had, did you have to pick up since the 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 first director didn't really show up the second day? How much of、uh, that did you have to like adjust? I just had to do this uh, 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 like because I didn't have an idea about、uh, what she did honestly. Okay, so you started from scratch then.、Uh, So、um, uh, I, I didn't have her concept in my mind, you know, of course. Like, right. And Arjun told me like she did these couple of scenes, and I said like, oh, cool. 
So why don't we do these kind of scenes and see like, you know, if it's going to fit. I'm pretty sure that's that will fit in the video. Okay. So uh yeah, I mean, so we did some few extra scenes and stuff and then we added to the video and the video looks good and at the time so it was it was it was great. Yeah, everyone's uh, uh you know, I met Rackstar as uh, Rackstar as well. He's a Yeah. Yep. You know, I know him. Yeah. Okay. Brother. mother <laughs> you know like, honestly i didn't realize how tight knit the music scene is in london it's actually pretty tight knit i i didn't realize most of the people who are doing anything in music know of each other or are actually friends with each other so that was actually kind of cool i didn't realize that until i came in 2014 so yeah yeah there i would say like because back in the day um jay shawn was famous in, in i remember same and stuff So um and which which was famous uh, in the back in the day you know that era. So I yeah. I to London uh that era you know like so uh, the the I mean uh, the music video industry they didn't really have had, had one like had had one okay. you, know, they, you know like like for, for the Asian industry because there's So no not Asian for the not for the underground basically like yeah. so if you're mainstream you had a video but I guess not if you Your directors there are but and, and it's too expensive as well i you can know? imagine because mm-hmm. they they were changing it from uh, 35 to digital you know what i mean okay. industry stuff changing it and uh, okay cameras are like quite expensive the 35 mm cameras the proper film cameras right yeah so yeah yours was like really really big like very expensive and and then then i went there and i started to find I'm, I'm I was thinking like most of the people can't afford it so what can we do to you know like so this is why I bought the 5D Mark II but lots of people were saying back in the day that this camera is going to kill the industry actually not really not really not really okay. because 35 films are expensive you know the okay. film stock is expensive and yeah. the camera is not expensive it's just like no i mean i we can get it with no money but the, then the lenses you have to spend and then the to develop the film and get the right it is so, it's a massive process <laughs> <laughs> so you can save money from like doing digitally you know what i mean it keeps yeah you absolutely not 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 it's not that hard to get that look you know what i mean if you know yeah. the right right lighting and if you're a good uh, cameraman you know dop and you can get it done you know what i mean with well, it doesn't matter like it's iphone or 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 a 35 mm camera so yeah i mean, I mean we're seeing that now because everything is becoming a lot more affordable and yeah. the cameras on phones are getting that much better so that yeah. you know the quality is there already because everyone knows you know most people are trying to become a vlogger to begin with so yeah you have to have the camera quality so yeah. you were back when we actually had separate equipment for separate things and yeah. you were able to work with a lot of artists you mentioned you know you've met, uh, you've worked with what Amy Jackson and a, and a bunch of other really well-known artists as well correct yeah i mean i've, I've used to manage uh, you know like i mean um, i met uh, Curtis Young his his Dr Dre son yep I've, i've done a music video and after that we i actually uh, was managing him as well in London awesome and, So that was one of my you know the one of my biggest clients I would say and uh, I mean I met so many people like great people you know like yo yo honey thing came uh, you know uh, to, uh, from India right three videos actually but it okay. was like last minute and I couldn't do all of them like because I last minute uh, videos and stuff but I respect yeah. the like he's such an amazing person and uh, we had a, we had a lunch and you know and he was saying like you know I love your stuff and you know let's work together you know I was like yeah for sure I mean next time when you come down like to tell me be, be, give me like a bit of advance notice give you some time yeah <laughs> so, so we can work because because last minute things are like I don't think like the last minute stuff are like great always you know what I mean because I don't know you don't that. yeah it won't be the best quality I mean I'm sure you could get it done and everything but it won't be to your satisfaction I get the feeling so I I I, I don't want to do something that I'm not satisfied you know what I mean that's the problem exactly. you know <laughs> I I want to make it great but not like you know I'm not going crazy about if I make something and uh, we we always learn from our mistakes any, anyways like yeah. so you know what i mean so i mean the beat from the every, each video has like um, like faults as well you know what i yeah. can see you, you will know we will never know it looks That's great to us <laughs> so 
this is something uh, something different you know like so uh So, yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, there are so many videos I've done, like more than thousand videos I've done now, yeah, directed videos, and um, and I have like one billion views for them as well, like the like. I remember you as soon as you post it, I repost because it's like wow, it's possible, you guys. Like, if you just stay on your grind, if you if you perfect your craft, if you take pride in the stuff that you're learning, right, the things you love anyway, why don't you take pride in the stuff that that you're doing, putting out there, and just. Keep at it. Keep putting out content. Um, you you mentioned you weren't doing it for the money. You were doing it for the art itself, for it to be something beautiful that you present to the world. And it's your way of seeing the world around you, which is I love that because your art is at the center of everything. And that's what makes the difference between these you know these people who do cookie cutter stuff because it's easy, rather than trying to put a spit on things. Like I mean, if we look back at you know movies and music videos, there are certain names that always stand out to us, right? Uh, because they had this different way of looking. Like George Lucas is a big name; you'll never forget it. No matter how old you get, it's going to be. It's going to be. They've been influencing pop culture for like forever, right? So we're waiting for your name to come out there, director Ace. You know. She <laughs> don't know. You know. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I was saying, uh, you know, like George Lucas is, is, is a proper role model, you know, in the VFX industry as well. It's like when they started, like you know, directing. Is um, that was insane. He really pushed the envelope, didn't he? He he did work with like SFX and and they he did VFX as well on his films and 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 yep. that's amazing. These guys are the pioneers of the VFX industry. Yeah. So whatever you see on films today, like uh, like this, you know, the buildings are on fire and all of these like stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, if people actually started doing that, you know, like if you if you yeah. go ahead, look at the Star Wars like uh, the making of. And you will see how they did it. You know, it was it was it was crazy at that time. They didn't even had a, uh, they, they uh, I mean, they didn't have you know this um, sort of like you know the, the computer generate generated image. They had but, models. You know, yeah. <laughs> how amazing was that? <laughs> you know, VFX and then then they built it up. But yeah, I mean, I mean now they have software they own and make the three D stuff and the color grading stuff because. You know, they they did something. They did a change in the industry, film industry. So, yeah. well, I'm, I'm, I just, I'm, I looked at these people, and I, I believe as well. One day, I can change the industry, like them guys. You know what I mean? So, You're doing it already. You're changing the way people see videography. The fact that you have platforms like um, Instagram and YouTube. People, people can trace it all the way back to the beginning. They can see the difference in what you first created to what you're creating now, and they can see yeah. the growth. And that's what anyone really wants. They want to be able to grow with the brand. So I really, I really appreciate you being so transparent and so honest and approachable because this is where the next generation is going to look right. For what do we do? What what has been done before? How can I be better? And who proved that they could change stuff? Because you keep on presenting, you keep on producing. So we've done music videos. We've done you and music a little bit. What brought you back to Sri Lanka recently uh, in the last year or so? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a bit funny because uh, being working in the industry for like ten years, like nonstop, I didn't even take a break. Actually, yeah, myself first, and all, also I have. I think I have. Uh, I mean, I have changed the video industry in the Asian industry in the UK. I don't doubt it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I've changed the the uh, industry and and yeah. then into mainstream also. And okay. I was I was quite popular in the mainstream video industry as well there. So and and you know, because I was working with like lots of artists around the world, so I I had a chance to go into Afrobeats. Yeah. And, the you know afrobeat actually became really really massive from london and back yeah. in the day in uh, choice fm fm with G- dj apprenti so okay. he's one of the really really nice guys like who helped me to come uh, and like come and work with them and just just get to know like what's 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 uh, 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 you know like uh, how 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 things work in a, in a, in a uh, radio station you know and stuff yeah. and meeting these celebrities and stuff like it was great like you know working with him and i met like this kid and all of them at that time and wow he came for the first time to london and okay. 
met him I, I did his interview as well for first on and uh, and he was such amazing person I still remember the first day and and also Davido and also the Peace Square and also these um you know Ice Prince uh like so so many people and the, the first video actually I did uh, on the Afrobeat was um I think Mr Silva boom boom time okay and which played on MTV base uh, like first african video which played on mtv base was mine wow yeah and 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 i didn't even know that you know people were asking like for the video to play on mtv base and i was like really they play uh, afrobeat videos in this yeah the, then the artists art, artists were saying like yeah man like you know, this is the first time they're going to play this you know and i was like wow really that's that's great that's you know? amazing see but you keep taking chances you te- you know whenever the opportunity presents itself i feel like you say yes let's try and figure it out instead of like no nah, i can't i've never done that before you just you just rise the occasion you keep on going which is important i think for people to remember don't yeah. just stick to what you're comfortable with keep keep trying new things well, yeah yeah I'm, I'm, i always tell people you know like you know keep trying keep trying you know like because i i, I mean from the mistakes that you learn you know and don't yeah. do this mistake again but you will make another mistake is fine you know because you didn't know about it but yeah don't make the same mistakes over and over make make new mistakes <laughs> absolutely yeah. that's the only way we learn yeah and um so i but i i believe in like making a, a video perfect so i tried my best like on first video i want to make, make it perfect you know what i mean so yeah. so some of the video budgets are not that great but yeah he, from uh, uh the director fee i had i was even putting that into the video and now wow. i was the video great that's because, dedication yeah, yeah i believe in that like getting someone a, a professional who knows the you know like cam- camera work you know that like dop stuff yeah. and work is great because you have like a creative team around you as well It, because this mm-hmm. is all the team work i can't i can't credit myself like always like yeah the director did and that's what i was saying like for you to be so continuously yeah. you know approachable to all these people means that they will continually if you say hey i need these people they will come hey i'm available i w- because they already know your working relationship right yeah so yeah. um so yeah i mean i mean um, I've, i've worked with like so many great people get great like do business people like that you know like in the industry like so, you know they they actually helped me to like you know like get into like this level you know what i mean like this is why i put i i trusted from the beginning and i put my money onto them like and then i gave them like yeah. okay okay you if you're charging for 100 um fine it's fine i'll give you 100 you know so awesome. i sometimes i put my own money as well <laughs> you know like but that's how much you believe in the project that's not not everybody will do that because because uh, i think that the money will pay off one day like for my hard yeah. work but i believe you know and 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 i always believe that and now it's, it's i mean like right now it's it's great like i i i just have to do only one project per month if i want to do <laughs> or not but that's you know? awesome you've gotten to that point yeah so you've evolved so much that people can say okay he's been here a while i can't just pay some chump change and hope for something great so that's great so What brought you back to Sri Lanka? Oh, so uh I wanted to actually um do a movie here. Mm-hmm. And, uh well I I mean I mean a movie and uh, and all, also like you know because I changed the industry in U- UK and also yeah. I changed in uh, Bollywood. Okay. I really yeah. I rolled there and and back in the day and when I was start working with T series and uh yeah. and so this was in uh, like most of the indian directors were copying my work as well so that's I awesome took... see this is the influence you had and yeah. if you hadn't been brave enough like can you imagine and all these colors and stuff um my yeah. now i can kind of style so this is why the british also liked it and so i changed the into industries and i just came to sri lanka to kind of like give this these people a different feel like vibe as well so let i mean i i i wanted to do this movie here but the problem is mm-hmm. like circumstances are like a little bit like you know here it's it's it's, it's pretty, pretty hard you know so, um, you know to to start doing these movies and stuff like it's, it's it's because uh the political issues and stuff are there you know yeah stuff, 
but I'm I'm planning to finish this but let's see how it works like this move is not going to work then I'm 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 also planning to go to states like next year so to uh-huh. okay, to follow my next goal but but I'm trying my best to do it for Sri Lanka right now so I'm I recently started uh, this uh, post production company yeah right now like yep. I'm digging that wall by the way and yeah you just built that up cuz you were nice enough to actually show us pictures of you know the build out as it was happening the sets and everything is it's really it's really something the fact that you have that ability now to kind of control it the way you want it to look to create what you need exactly you're definitely pioneer man yeah i just i just wanted actually uh, um you know like uh, build few companies like here in sri lanka like post production because it's going to help me to uh, kind of connect with my work you know post production yeah. color grading you know and uh, vocal recording stuff like that we can do it in here and so also i have a uh, um a tv tv commercial production i saw a couple of those there was a there was a motorcycle one that was like it was phenomenal uh yeah you definitely yeah. changed the game with that one <laughs> and also i have a uh, another production company like our for pictures which have been but like but for all these years like I mean that the small own company and mm-hmm. I think that's 15 years old and uh, yeah <laughs> and uh, stability right there international work from that company my company and so I have like a few other businesses I'm running as well you know and also a a, a record label I recently I was waiting for you to get to that see you're building the platforms you need so that you can actually reach out but you know what I I applaud you because not not everyone wants to give back. Once they get to a certain level, they're like, ah, "I got it, I made it." But you want to teach, you want to encourage people, you want to let other people come up uh, right behind you as well because you are paving the way. So, big shout out to you because not everyone does that. And I wish more people would because can you imagine if your heroes reach back to help you up? Like yeah. that'd be amazing. Yeah, that I mean I I I mean lots of people say that to me like, you know, bro, like I mean it's it's about the trust, you know, that you put in something, yeah. something. I've made something in the industry which I mean I I didn't I mean I didn't do any bad to anyone, you know. I always given advice, free, free advice. I've been working with like more than 4 500 artists around the world. So, around the world, yeah. Yeah, and and I know like more than 500 producers as well around the world. and also because because I've worked with them and also the managers also the record labels and you know people like that so um you know like uh, I I thought of like all these years like everyone been asking like you know do it like why don't you uh, start up a record label or maybe manage managers you know yeah and so I got involved in few uh, like artists management as well like involved in that and uh, so many people I give I have to an advice to like a uh, bigger artist right now in in the in the industry and also like um you know uh because of this uh, you know like free advising and stuff like some people yeah. did good, like taking advice some people didn't really do much you know like they do much means that they didn't, they didn't do they didn't you know like They took the advice and then nothing happened. Yeah. I get it. I get it all the time because you know me, I teach. So people will do when they're ready. They'll ask for the information, but when it looks like work, they don't always do. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of, I feel like, you know, I was just wasting time on some people, you know what I mean, like giving advice. Yeah. But I wanted to give advice to people and see like whether they're going to do it. But then yeah. I person you know and 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 so like that so i i thought of like i'm i want to start my own record label because i have all the links and stuff and uh, yeah about social media and the pr and and, and so i thought of like uh, i want to start something new and and also i know how to create a brand uh, yeah great. very well and it was great so um so yeah that's that's something that i really wanted to start uh starting to do and also like this record label uh is 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 a um a publisher in uh, in UK and mm-hmm. and um in tr- we have like three uh YouTube channels uh and we okay. it's it's running on YouTube also as a, as well as we are distributing on all the digital plat- platforms their music and stuff and also we pay the pay back the artists as well a percentage of brilliant them. yes and that's really important to me because 
um, everything that I know, I mean, I don't know that much, but everything that I've seen, the people that I've worked with, that's their number one complaint. You know, they want the money to be able to put into the production of stuff, but then eventually if things don't go well, they don't get anything out of it. So they've also put in the work, they've also put in the time. So I'm really glad because you've seen so many aspects of this business, you're creating something that fills all of the gaps that you've seen in your in your career so far. So that's, that's really amazing. So uh, this is why I wanted to help people out. So um, I started this uh, Sri Lanka channel to help mm-hmm. with that who are in Sri Lanka or out of, out of Sri Lanka. And yeah. so I, I recently started that. And also uh, I started, I'm starting out a, a Bollywood channel, which I have like more Bollywood people, artists as well, wanted to get yeah. behind. And yeah. uh, Vervai music, like English mainstream and stuff and Latin okay. in, in one, one channel as well. So these artists are gonna like, you know, what we're doing is like, we're promoting their music to the right places. Yeah. That it's really because it's really hard nowadays. Like there's lots of people like saying that you know like they have PR companies and stuff like that, but they they don't really do anything. To they them. only see one aspect of it, right? Uh, they take a lot of money because it's, yeah. um, PR is is really expensive and social media marketing also is very expensive, and they yeah. take a lot. But then they don't they don't do work. So there are so many like big companies right now in India also like taking so much money, but they're not doing anything about the artists or anything like that. So that's, that's yeah. really because the, most of the artists are struggling and they're, they're, they're they give up because of things like that. Yeah. They, they, yeah. I mean, great, great music, like again, because, because they, they just fed up. Like I know so many artists I've seen in my career, like so many artists, like amazing artists went down because, because they, they, the other thing is like, I can say this as well. Sometimes the ego as well, like, yeah. Know, that he knows everything and, and as well. Sometimes it's not really like you need to learn the business. Music business is, is a different thing. Yeah. Creating the content that's creative is artist. It's that's fine. Yeah. Great. Yeah. But you need to have the advice from someone what to make. What's your what what your how to uh, present it. How, how to present it and, and your voice matches this track, you know, or not. Yeah. No one gives ad- advices to these people. They just go to a producer. I like this song. Let's make a song like this. You know, it won't mm-hmm. happen. I mean, like, you just need, you just need to know, like, your voice. Okay. Uh, can, can you, can you sing for this kind of song? You know, can you sing? Yeah. Like, like, not really. So uh, people, I mean, I mean, this is where we become as a, um, I mean, we come as a um, record label and give advice to uh, our artists as well. So that's it's kind of like a coaching them along, helping them, grooming them for the rest, right? Exactly. So we control so many things, like you know, we have uh, producers as well, like really, really good producers and mixing, mixing and mastering guys as well, and also the video directors and uh, you know to do because I, I can't direct all of the videos. I know, but you, the, that also means that you're you know you're helping people come up with your style or helping them find their own style. So these are people that have trained, been trained by you as well, correct? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I've given advice to like all these, like uh, back in the day, like, you know, the, the art, biggest artists as well. So, so actually they, they wanted to, you know, always like help me out as well. Like whatever from, I mean, whatever I do, you know, like they, they just like tweet that, you know, tweet that and, you know, like, or, or share them videos and stuff. Yeah. Like helping me so and and I have that too you know when, I, when it comes to this kind of work you know what I mean so it's it's, it's, a, it's a, so it's blessing you know what I mean that you're paying it forward yeah yeah the people I have like that around, around me are like great people so yeah I mean uh, so this is why I wanted to make this uh, record label you know give these artists people who wants to be singers you know a chance and maybe let's see how, how you can grow you know what I mean together maybe yeah. exactly I love it. So for those of us, uh, for those of you who have uh, stopped by, message us. Thank you so much. But I want people to be able to contact you as well. So what's the best place to find you? You're more active on Instagram, I think, correct? Uh, yeah, I, I, I am actually. Uh, so uh, do you want me to send me by? Uh, Please. My, yep. Yeah. So my Instagram is uh, at Hasint, H-A-S-I-N. Mm-hmm. And also uh, my, I have my website. You guys can go and check it out. Please. Uh, W dot. My name is Long Hasint Patirana dot com or uh, www dot director ace dot com. 
Um, Very good. And so, I mean, go and uh, follow that, the, my profiles and, and also um, go and subscribe to my YouTube, the new record label YouTube channel, uh, which is uh, Music Fuse SL. So, okay, so this, cool. This is, uh, this is my first, um, the record label that I started. Uh, so please go and subscribe and have a look at the videos that I, I have there. And uh, both of the videos I've directed. So please go and comment, uh, share, and show some love, you know? <laughs> exactly. So I appreciate it. This, yeah, exactly. This is how social media works, people. We are a network. And if we like something, we share it. And if we don't, we comment so we can grow from that. There's nothing but growth on social media. So I really appreciate it. You have had an amazing career, and I can't wait to see what you do next. So I'm waiting for you to tell me, you know, you're done with the movie. And so we can go out there and watch it and show, you know, show some support so that's that's pretty amazing yeah for sure i mean uh, i'll let, definitely let you know like what's happening with the movie and stuff so um yeah I'm, I'm doing this other stuff as well at the same time i'm too busy i'm so sorry i know that you've been more look busy. i appreciate the fact that you you finally had a chance and decided to jump on live with me i appreciate that but it's mostly because i want people to understand look everybody's story is different but if you really want it bad enough you'll find a way to get it done and you've proven that over and over again yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I worked hard, so and it pays off. You know, yes, yep. you can see living my life. Life your way, right? Great. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm meeting great people. I'm blessed. So, and uh, I think, yeah, I mean, and, and I have you as a friend, like for for a long Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Amazing person, and you always, you know, when I'm down, you always lift me up. I mean, who doesn't want to have people like around you, like you around? You know. Yeah. This is how we go to we go further when we go together. And I think, you know, it's okay for people to lean on each other. And we need to do more of that. That's how we find like really wholesome relationships. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is um, so this is me, but my, my story is like very long. I, I would love to tell you on a one the day like maybe the part two. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Part. We can play. How about this? How about this? When you finish your video? Yeah, when you finish your movie, come back. Come back. We'll finish part two. Yeah. <laughs> so then we can promote your video and we can talk about the rest of it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, <laughs> maybe, you know, like next time we will talk about a music video, how to make it and, you know, and how to do things. Over Actually, there. I was going to say that. I'm surprised you haven't started like a course on how to do all these things. Like what you need to pay attention to. That that should be. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, <laughs> I, I got chances to uh, teach people like filmmaking and the problem is mm -hmm. like I'm I'm really scared. I would love to teach people. Honestly, saying like whoever like messaged me and asked me questions, and I mean, like, dude, how can you do this? And uh, I've seen a couple of those videos. You go live and people ask questions. On that, but the problem is that I I believe that you know like if I started teaching courses and stuff, like I will lose my you know like work time time to work on the. You and I need to have a conversation off screen because yeah, I have an idea about that. We'll we'll talk about that. We'll we'll sort that out so you have time for all of that. <laughs> you know I'm not gonna let you sit still neither, so we're gonna push each other. This is what we yeah. do. <laughs> that. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, so yeah. How so? How's how's everything with you? It's good. It's good. I'll maybe one day I'll let you interview me one time. But for now, I'm I'm teaching. I'm I'm doing what I do best. I am. I'm happily messing up the bell curve from single moms everywhere. Amazing. I'm doing it my way. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> great. It's great. Amazing. And good luck. But all I love from Singapore, I really appreciate you. Um, it's nice to be able to say that I've known you for over five years now. It's really nice. And I've met you in person. It's not just a, you know, social media, direct message relationship or anything. We're actually good friends. And yeah. um, you've met my family. Like, it's not like one of those random. Yeah. I yeah. love this. I love the kind of relationship we have. We kind of push each other. And anytime yeah. you see that I can do something better, you're very you're very kind enough to come tell me, hey, you could reach more people if you did this. So I, I appreciate everything. I appreciate your wisdom. I appreciate your friendship. And I'm just, I'm grateful, man. This has oh, been yeah. amazing. Share and care. That's what, what it is, you know? Yes. <laughs> I, I, know, I mean, I wanted to see everyone around me, like, getting there. Because I think yeah. they're happy. That's what I believe, like, always. But I don't know, like, this is something different because people see me as like a different person from from my instagram or 
Uh, or, or I, I could care less. The point that you you don't have any limitations on who you help or how you help or what you do, that's what I want. And that's what I want to see more people do. Like, stop talking about where you're from as in, like, that's the only people, the only place you rep. You're global, right? You're from Sri Lanka. You went back to London. You came back to Sri Lanka. You're global, and you're giving back to the community. And that's what I want to see more of. All yeah. of us, if we all own that, damn, can you imagine the world we live in? No, that's no, what I want. That's what I want. Around the world, what's ha- you know, mate, you, you know, like, I mean, I had bad experience in London as well. Like, you know, some people are trying to get my work and, you know, talk yeah. to my, but, but, you know, end of the day, I'm like, who cares? Like one will go and one will come, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't have, like, have, you know, I, I never had it like a, you know, like, um, uh, you know, enemies in my life because Good. I'm, and, and I mean, if someone is getting angry with me and they go home and they think of come back and say sorry yeah and i think uh, i have patience as well now not like mm-hmm. i mean i was i wasn't like kind of like a bad person but yeah i mean i have more patience now so patience is good yeah you know, if you, uh, it's a so, maturity yeah. thing after years and years of seeing the same stuff you're like ah this is normal this is what people go through it'll be all right in a little while just give it some time <laughs> so that's amazing it's amazing so you keep on doing you. We're all fans. We're rooting for you to win. Um, like I said, you finish that movie. Come talk to me. Let's let's do part two then. Deal. We'll do it. Deal. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much, you guys. I will talk to you later. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Yeah.